What's up everybody, I'm Jesse Showalter and I recently got a comment on one of my videos about Adobe XD component states. How do you create a drop down navigation that has animated nav items inside of it? Is it even possible? And they end the comment by saying, do you have any advice? Oh, I got lots of advice, but is it advice that you want? We'll see. All right, so we have Adobe XD open on the screen. You can see I have an artboard entitled Dropdown. It is a 19 by 20 artboard, nothing fancy here. I just filled it with a light gray color. I put a white rectangle there called Top Bar and then I dropped a piece of text in there. That's the beginning of our navigation. The challenge is to create some sort of navigation that you can hover over this navigation element here, drop it down and then hover over the individual elements. Um, this is gonna be a real bummer because I'm gonna break some bad news to you. You can't do that right now in Adobe XD. You can't have multiple hovers on the same element. There's no real way to do this in that capacity, but there is some workarounds so that if you're prototyping and you want to create something that's like that, you can get pretty close. Let's do it right now. It's gonna basically be a tap of this element right here and you're gonna see the drop down come down from it. So what I wanna do is I wanna bring some other elements here. So I'm just gonna do this like home about, let's see, we're about 60 pixels from the other nav element. I'm doing that by holding down the option key and just measuring the distance of elements around it. So I'm just gonna do another 60 pixels here. I'm gonna call this blog and let's do one more here and we'll call it contact, okay? So now we have all of our nav elements. They're named appropriately in our layers panel over there. Everything's looking pretty good. What I wanna do is I actually wanna create a um, like a hover f for each one of these, right? So you could go in and create a hover for each individual one, or I could just go ahead and press Command or Control K and create a component out of it. And we're gonna call this nav item, okay? We have a default state, and what I also wanna have is a hover state for this fella. I'm gonna zoom in so I can look at what I'm dealing with here. I'm on my default state. I think a good thing would just to bring a little ellipse in here, something like that. And then why don't we choose a color, like maybe a fun purple color, that could be kind of cool. And we'll just make sure that we are lined up, center aligned with our text. Let's make sure our text is center aligned and everything's lined up together. So far, so good. Um, so now we have these elements and this ellipse really does need to go. I'm gonna cut it, Ooh, excuse me, I'm gonna cut the ellipse. I'm gonna go into my nav items here and I'm gonna go ahead and paste that little element there. This means that uh, now I have a default state and a hover state. So what we wanna do is we wanna take this thing up and put the opacity down. And when we go back to our nav item, we wanna hit that hover state. We wanna bring the opacity up and then bring it back into place. What's that gonna do? Well, when we place it back to our default state, we press play, where we should get some sort of hover effect going on here. And it's just opacity, a little bit of movement. You can, if you'd like, go to prototype and we can check it. It's auto animating, it's easing out. If you wanna do something a little bit more intense like snap, you can do that. Um, ease out, ease in, you can change the timing. I think it's all right for us. Let's just keep working with it. If you'd like to design along with me and you wish you could get a hold of this starting file, consider becoming one of my premium members. My members get access to all of my digital design files, every single digital design file I ever do, as well as behind the scenes video, live chats, Q and A's, special live stream content, as well as a slew of other benefits. Check the link down in the description and consider becoming one of my members. So with that being said, I kind of want to duplicate um, my nav element here and I want to duplicate all of them. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to change this because remember this has a default state and a hover state now. I'm going to have to come in here and say about and let's see, I'm going to have to go to the hover state and change that one to about as well. And why don't we just do one more while we're here, just one more. Um, let's just do contact here and I'm going to save that. I'm going to make sure that my ellipse is center aligned. It is. Let's go back to our hover state and put in contact here. Pretty good. And let's just stick with those three, shall we? Let's make sure everything's put back to the default state. We should be able to press play up here. We should be able to hover over our elements. 
and this is our new hover state. Now again, you can't hover over that and have something else drop down, it's kind of a bummer, but we can do something on tap. And if you're prototyping and passing this off to shareholders, there can just be an annotation or a note for the developers that says, hey, this is a hover effect, it looks something like this. So um, with that being said, uh, now what we wanna do is design our drop down, and that could be something really, really easy. Why don't we, why don't we do a little rectangle right here? Um, and I'll just put it up right there on the edge. Um, and then why don't we take away our border, add a small shadow, and then chill that shadow out, just bring the opacity of it down. Pretty easy stuff, like nothing really like mind blowing here. I'm gonna press Command C to my shape, take the shadow off, and now we have this shape that is a height of 158. I'm gonna create three navigation items. And now we're gonna have to just, uh, well, let's just leave these for now. They could all be something different, um, but we're gonna take the whole thing that we've just created, group it together and call it drop down. all right? Um, we're gonna take that drop down. we're gonna make sure that it's behind our top bar. We're going to slide it up, and why don't we just bring the opacity of it down just for the heck of it, okay? Um, and now what we wanna do is, we wanna duplicate this artboard because we are ready to prototype, right? We're gonna take our drop down. we're going to press Command D or Control D if you're on a PC to duplicate down here. Um, and we have a new artboard, we can come over here and make some changes, okay? So with that being said, these are all instances. So something fun to do would be, why don't we go ahead and bump this up to semi-bold now let's call that like the active state, like we've selected this one. And we wanna take our drop down, we wanna bring it down, turn the opacity up, and just slide it right there. And then we wanna do our prototyping. So here, we wanna to go to our prototype tab, and we want to, and see how everything already has hovers over it. We wanna drag this over, and we want to, on tap, auto animate. Yeah, let's go ahead and do a snap at 0.3 seconds. And then when we click it or tap it again, excuse me, it's gonna go ahead and go right back to where we were. We're in prototype mode, why don't we just hit our little house? That tells us we're always gonna start from this area or this artboard for the start of our prototype. We hit here, we have all of our elements that can be hovered, no problem. Let's go ahead and click it and we get our prototype just like that. And we're getting a little bit of funkiness and that's because um, this navigation item needs to be just updated so that the text is the same in both, right? So we went to semi-bold there. Let's go back and try that prototype again. We should be able to click and it becomes bold. It drops down all of our elements and we can click it back. Should be able to click it back, maybe not. Okay, we did something else wrong. What did we do wrong? Let's see, aha, go back to the default state, not the hover state, yikes. So now we should be able to open our menu and close our menu and navigate over each of the individual items. It, it would be so nice if you could just hover and have it happen, but as far as I know, there's no workaround for that yet. But this is pretty close. It's as close as you're gonna get. That's actually a pretty smooth feeling. So it's a lot of fun. Auto animate, simple components, just a little bit of prototyping magic. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I do lots of videos about design and development and Adobe XD just like this one, so maybe stick around. If you have any questions, leave those down in the comments. I'll get back to them as soon as I can. I hope you're having an amazing week designing amazing things, making amazing things, and problem solving and finding workarounds. See you in the next one.